Hey guys, Ben Ungerman here, also known as The Power Chef. Now today I'm going to be working with some beautiful USM products. We're going to be making a butternut squash pumpkin pie. We're going to be using the keto sugar along with the salted caramel cookie bars. Alright guys, so we have the biscuit base there. It looks super fantastic, really crispy. We're gonna allow that now to cool while we continue working on the filling. All right, so here we have some keto sugar. Now this is a really good alternate to sugar. Really low in calories, and this actually um, is very creamy. So it's gonna make that mixture super light and fluffy. In here we have two full eggs, two egg yolks, a little bit of vanilla essence. Along with that we also have my own spice blend, so it's a Dutch spice blend. It's a little bit of cinnamon, uh, a bit of coriander, uh, also some nutmeg cloves and a little bit of white pepper. And then of course we finished off with the keto sugar. All right, so it's time to take out a roasted squash. The thing I really love about this is you can see some of the smaller bits have become really nice and brown and caramelized, where a lot of the larger bits have just become really soft and supple. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is add the roasted squash to the uh, egg and keto mixture. Important that you let it cool down because the eggs will actually cook at a very low temperature, especially the egg white. So we don't want this mixture to curdle or be lumpy in any way. But so what we're gonna do now is blend this into a really beautiful paste. Really important to have the egg and keto mixture in there because it's actually gonna um, have some lubricant and help break down uh, the butternut squash a lot quicker. Now we wanna turn this into an ultra fine paste. going to place it in the oven for around 40 minutes. At 20 we'll pull it out, add a few chopped pecans and from there cook it for another 20 minutes. What we're going to do now is make an additional topping. Uh, we're going to make a beautiful uh, butterscotch. Now this is something that's going to make the dish a lot more indulgent. You don't have to use it um, and if you do use it just use it sparingly. Alright guys, that is looking phenomenal. Let's get a bit of a close-up there. You can see it still has a jiggle to it, which is perfect. We don't want to cook this through too much. We still want it to be very much soft and supple. Now we're just going to add our chopped pecans. There is no right or wrong way to do this, guys. Add as much or as little as you like. Place this back in the oven. About like 20 minutes, again on one end. We'll be good to go. 